Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Beauty by Deli. A few days ago, I went to the Labi Lipstick Studio in Eastwood Mall. It's in City Walk 2, which is like the old mall. And I made my own customized lipstick. This store is a custom lipstick studio. Package A is called Lab Creation. For 780 pesos, you can choose among 4 finishes, 6 shapes, 6 scents, six cases and 150 pre-mixed colors. Once you've picked out all of these um, choices, they take everything in a glass panel lab where you can watch them mix everything from scratch. The one I did is package B called My Own Experience. It costs 1,500 pesos, but instead of taking it straight to the lab, they actually give you your own kit and spot on the workbench and you get to make your lipstick from scratch. So I'm gonna take you guys through package B, My Own Experience. When you start, they're gonna take your customer information all of the selections you made during this session is stored in their customer data bank should you forget or lose your old lipstick you can actually access this information find out the exact shade and finish and scent that you chose the last time so the first part is you get to choose among four finishes you have a glass which is like an acrylic gloss so it's really full color and i really like how shiny it is but it's just not my current mood right now the others were soft matte which is a bullet and super matte which is a liquid i chose the creme finish it's the safest choice it's easiest to wear for every day so next you choose a color from among 150 pre-mixed shades they class it according to color family so there's like reds nudes pinks oranges uh, i had a hard time choosing just because there were so many and the colors were lit under yellowish or orange lighting so I pick up something I thought I like but then when I swatch it, it seems a little bit different so I ended up just asking my attendant like what the top selling shades were and sort of chose from among them I kind of felt iffy about their undertones they were there was just a lot of blue in it and I guess that's what happens when you have stock or like standard color mixes you can't really like knit pick about the undertones and the colors i had to just really dig around and go and find one that i agreed with so the next step is to choose your casing you have six free cases that go along with it i wish there were plainer ones just because i feel like plain bullets were easier to get among the special and limited edition cases there were some better designs but overall they're still pretty lightweight i just didn't agree with a lot of the selection of the cases and then lastly, you choose your own fragrance from six essential oils. I ended up choosing grapefruit, but they also have stuff like bergamot, lemon, orange, and lavender. Or was it jasmine? I'm forgetting. Anyway, it felt weird to me that they didn't have vanilla because that's pretty much the most common lipstick fragrance. All these other fragrances just felt kind of weird to have on a lipstick. In hindsight, I wish I just asked not to put fragrance. So that was the first half of the experience. It was all the selection. Now we go to the second half where I actually get to do and mix my own lipstick. First, they give you your own workstation. You have your own induction plate. You have your own tissues, your own mixing implements, scooping implements, all the rest of the materials that you would need. So first, they give you your beaker. It contains the color pigment that you chose and the base formula. You're gonna add a vitamin E capsule to that. As in, you're going to pop a vitamin E capsule and like squeeze all of the juice <laughs> inside the mixture and with a disposable brush you're going to mix the pigment into all the oils so i like that this is disposable it really does make you feel that they take sanitation pretty seriously then you have a special spoon to scoop out a beeswax to add to the mixture which you finally melt down with the aid of a stirring rod. So you are heavily guided, but they do end up still making you perform the processes and the steps by yourself. And then after that, when everything's molten down and combined fully, you're gonna pour your mix onto your chosen mold. You have to pour it really fast because it does tend to get dry. So when it's dry, you attach the bottom of the case to the mold and then gently pull it out to make sure you don't scratch it up. And that's it. You have your custom lipstick. So this is my final custom lipstick. And the shade number 58, it's on a sticker on the bottom. I did choose this shape. I don't know, I just felt like being silly. It was the weirdest shape there. They had pretty normal shapes like rose, diamond, but I guess this just spoke to me. It's been 24 hours and this is the recommended time frame for your first use of the Labby lipstick because the oils have now supposedly settled in.
I can really smell the grapefruit. It's just really such a weird flavor to have on your lipstick. I can't really fault them for it. I chose it, so I'm gonna have to live with the decision of a grapefruit shaped lipstick. I'm sure my mom is so proud that I've gone on YouTube only to have a in my mouth. I went with a safe color just because I wasn't sure of their formula yet. So I didn't want to take a huge risk and end up with something completely unusable. I actually ended up swatching it a little bit earlier than the recommended time. When I first tried it, I was really like heartbroken and disappointed because I thought the formula was super duper poor but after some time so you really need to wait it does improve especially in terms of color payoff the color payoff is much better so i think that you really need to follow the recommended 24 to 48 hour drying time so the color payoff is not that full but it's pretty much at par with what i'd expect with creme finish lipsticks actually not that bad 1500 is money i would pay for this experience i really love the experience of getting to wear the cute apron mixing up my own lipstick i think they were able to break down the lipstick making process into separate and distinct steps so you as a customer you really feel like you're doing something and each step feels different because you're using different and special tools i'm just really not feeling this look and so that look combined with the off colors and the poorly designed cases i just feel like sort of detracts from their brand kind of detracts from the overall experience so since i was also able to get a liquid lipstick i'm gonna try it quickly and show you guys how it looks like so for the super matte lipstick i thought since it's matte anyway i could go with a darker color just because i like how mattes um death to really rich colors I chose number 131 and this is like a wineish shade. So as you can see, it's a little bit sheer. I can see a lot of my lip poking through. I'm gonna let it dry and apply one more coat. One thing I will say is that it's super lightweight, so there's that. But then again, there's not a lot of color going on. So this is definitely a tricky formula. It's so difficult to even out. Um, you can see that it's so thin that it creates like windows of translucency and sort of lines around my lips. It's a shame because I really like the color and it does feel super lightweight. It's not itching and tightening up on my lips like most matte liquid lipsticks do. So this is the super matte in number 131. Okay, so final words. If you're going for fun, I highly suggest doing a finish in a bullet form like the creme or the soft matte. The whole process of putting it in the mold, attaching the case to the bullet, it really adds a lot to the experience. When it's a liquid lipstick, once you've combined all the ingredients, that's the end of it. You just put it in the case and that's done. I think that the whole process of like molding it adds way, way, way more to the experience than just mixing up a bunch of oils powders in a beaker wood. So that was my Labby lipstick experience. Are you guys gonna try it or not? Let me know in the comment section and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye!